Katty la, yeah, ni horosho, because I just woke up. Yeah, uh, like five minutes ago, I just woke up. Oh yeah, and also we are playing Democracy 3, turning Germany fascist. Now, I also want to say that I just trolled you all because uh, I'm actually not turning it fascist, I'm turning it nationalistic. But no one really cares if it turns nationalist. But turning it fascist, I think people get pissed off by that. So that's gonna get me views. And power! I'm kidding. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's play Germany. Um, my grandma came in, she's actually the one who woke me up. And she, uh... Yeah, and she, um... What, what did she... Oh, yeah, she said, I have a donut for you. It was literally like a Krabby Patty. Not, not like a, like, fucking two bun patties. Like that, that's not a donut, my dude. That's not a donut. But, hey. I mean, who, who can't live without two uh, bun patties? You know? Alrighty, so, uh... Nationalism. How are we gonna turn Germany nationalist? So... Well, you have to obviously. Who's gonna turn Germany nationalist? Obviously, the national. The national. Wait, the national socialist. Socialist German. Gamers Party. The National Socialist German Gamers Party, obviously. And who should the opposition be? The opposition shall be. The Globeheads. Nah, that sounds gay. Um, we shall name them the. S what the fuck's an opposition name? The ones that shall not be named. Not to be named. And also, I turned down the uh, pow the music thing by just a tiny bit. So we're actually going to limit ourselves to two terms because my ass ain't playing longer than I should be. This should be a bit of a challenge. I have four years for two terms. Let's get to it. So uh, there's a few things we want to do in turning Germany nationalistic. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to read the back page. Basically, Germany is uh, pretty good. If I read that correctly. I haven't played Germany in a while. So last time I played uh, trying to turn America socialist... Or, or social democratic, to be more precise, and uh, I got assassinated. But this time it shouldn't be a problem, because we are beefing up the military and the police and the intelligence services and immigration. Definitely immigration. Alright, let's see. Welcome to your new job as Chancellor, the Iron Chancellor, the Gold Chancellor, the Bronze Chancellor, the Chancellor of Chancellors. Uh, we got the lives of 80 million people that are about to be screwed. Um, are They are now in my hands. As you will imagine, that is pretty fucked up. Um, yeah. So yeah, GDP's in the tubes. Health is non-existent. Education's good, like America. Basically, everyone's educated, but everything's fucked up around us. Makes sense. Makes sense. Mm -mm. So, who are we gonna try to uh, appease? God, we're in a little bit of debt. It's gonna be a bit of a problem. So what's, what's our tax rate? Okay. So what are we gonna do? So this time we're going to try to, now the main, the one thing that, the one big thing, first of all, is to take the ethnic minority population and turn it to zero. Basically, as long as you enforce immigration law, there shall be zero ethnic minorities. And the second thing is to turn the patriot population to 100%. That's a bit of, of a tough gamble for, from eight, about 7% of the population to like 100%, but we shall be fine with that. So what shall be the first thing? First thing? What shall the first order of business? Oh yeah, also. So we're obviously attracting patriots. We are also going to try to attract uh, farmers, uh, parents, conservatives. Uh, basically everyone, for the most part, the only people we're actively hostile to are the socialists. Well, I mean, okay, actually the only people we're so kind of basically pissed off is the liberals. Those damn goddamn libtards, like I swear. I'm kidding. Okay, okay, what's the first order of business? So I just got elected on a nationalistic platform. I am the AFD, the Alternative or Deutschland Party. What shall we do? I actually don't know where to start. Well, there's a few things we could start. We're gonna buff up the goddamn police. Well, the police force was already high. Oh, fuck me. Well, uh, all right. We are boosting up the police force. We are cracking down on crime. Ooh, uh, no more colognes.
Next thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna beef up the military. So this is gonna... A modern well equipped. So basically, what we're gonna do for the military spending is that, um... Essentially, uh, Germany's kind of been light, um, kind of low on defense for a little while. Actually, a long while. They're kind of, they don't even make they they have a huge GDP, but they have to spend two percent of it on on mil on defense, and we are not spending enough. I mean, to think, I mean, they're like kind of the cornerstone of the entire EU. You know, they're kind of like the main building block. They're kind of the center that kind of gravitates all the EU toward it. And they have to set an example. And uh, I think right now France actually has the biggest military, right? I think. Not in NATO, because that's America, but like in the European front. Or is that England? Hmm. But yeah, military spending gotta go up a little bit. Now, we're not gonna go all the way up here, but well, let's, well, let's go for a very well-trained $24 billion quarter military. A very well-trained one. That's good. Now, what's another thing we could do? Ooh, fuck. Um, what's another thing? We shall... What are some things we could do? Oh, yeah. Here's another. So, now, this is how we're going to start increasing the Patriot population. First of all, we're actually going to make Patriots happy. This increase in the military is awesome. Now, we have to solve our de deficit somehow. We will, shall figure out how. Um. Basically, we don't know. So, this alcohol abuse is off the fucking charge. Why is alcohol abuse alcohol law? Okay, this has to change. Okay. Yeah, so one thing we're gonna do is also not only increase the Patriot population, but, uh, increase, uh, make them happy. And, oh, no, 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 not just make them happy, but increase their population. And the way we can do that is by the National Armed Forces Week. Basically, Patriots love it. We get an increase in Patriot membership by 9%, and that shall be great. There. What's some other things we do? What are some public services? You know, one thing we should do is uh is uh, also beef up the economy. So that's a way we could actually get tax revenue. Is that we increase the GDP, and then not, even if you don't increase their taxes, you actually get more money. Uh, and I think. Less people use government programs, I believe, I think. But I'm thinking of either... So I think we're going to go for the... We're going to go for small business... Actually, what's less expensive? Okay, this is less expensive. We don't want to go too far. We'll, we'll implement small business grants. So the thing that we're trying to go is for like a capitalist thing, but with a strong social safety net. And kind of like, um, if I had an example, it's like the Polish party. Well, <laughs> the Polish party. The PIS from Poland. I forgot how it's... I don't know exactly what it's named. The... The law and the, ju the law and order, the law and justice party, I think it's called. Yeah, so it's kind of like capitalist, but like social democratic in a way, which is kind of actually my philosophy. So how are we gonna do this? GDP. Let's go all. Let's go to. Let's actually just increase this to 3.50 percent. Increase the GDP by five percent. The self-employed will love us. Socialism goes down, which is awesome. Everything goes up. Awesome. Alrighty, let's go to the next turn. Now, we also need to beef up immigration is to stop. I mean, that's basically the only thing we need to get rid of the minorities. Also, we're going to do this in yearly periods. Essentially, uh, what happens is that, uh, oh yeah, also we're going to, we're also going to be socially conservative, by the way. Not just trying to be patriotic. We're going to be conservative, socially conservative. Okay. Um, bu -bu 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 um, Oh yeah, we're also we're doing this in yearly uh interval intervals. So essentially, so it's every 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 quarter is about three months, right? Three, six, nine, nine. Yeah, three months. And so we just thought what well, we have three more turns and then we shall end this video. Uh, I don't want to make this a long, long it's gonna be kinda like an extended thing. Alrighty, let's see. There is a proposal for a lot of outlaw the advertising of alcohol on television, although we will remain legal to advertise on, on radio, billboards, and other means, the TV ban is seen as a potential way to reduce alcohol intake by our citizens. Absolutely, fucking lootly No alcohol. So one thing we're going to do, we're going to be t t tough on crime. We're going to be tough on... Cons and we're going to be kind of be more restrictive on social lives. So we're going to prove the ban. And speaking of which... Actually, yeah, let's... uh, Retina scans. First of all, we're... The borders are shut. We are giving everyone retina scans. Essentially, this is probably the... I mean, this is probably one of the main thing we're doing. 
I mean, we're a conservative party. What's more conservative and right-wing than increasing the military, increasing border control, and increasing more security? I mean, we kind of need that in Germany. Alrighty. I know that cost a lot, but it was worth it. What are some other things we could do? Let's implement a small business grants, right? Actually. Actually, yeah. No, no, no. We're going to do the telecommuting initiative. Basically, this allow... We're, we're, I'm going to... This is going to be a way for women to go into the... Stay at home to take care of the children, but also work. They could also work. And this is a way we get... This, this helps men too, but it's mostly for that. That's what we're... That's, that's how we're going to frame it. That's what we're going to do, obviously. The community, commuters love it. Parents love it. That's great. And also, we're also trying to increase the birth rate. Now, we can't do much at the moment. But what we can do is free parenting classes. Essentially, uh, they, these are free classes provided for by the government to parents who want it. So... This is just, hey, parents are like, I don't know if I want to get, oh, this is a free class? Okay, maybe I'll try to have kids. Now, it's not the most direct way to get parents into the thing, but it's a very good way to get increased parent membership. God. Okay. Uh, yeah, conservatives hate us. Okay. Uh, there's a few things we needed to get rid of. Um, poverty. Poverty is high. Why is poverty high? There's a few ways to get rid of poverty. Now, this is where we're gonna- fuck. Now, this is where we're gonna actually kind of get in somewhere. Public services, law and order. Where, where is it? Public services. Oh. oh yeah, here's another thing. Let's have a national business council. This will help us increase the GDP as well. Again, anything that increases the GDP is great. Because, again, once the thing rises, goddamn, we need to get a handle of our deficit. Yeah, so, uh, we need to get a few things. Uh, what are we gonna do? We need to increase the uh, GDP. Where, where's the GDP? The GDP should increase just by a little bit soon. Where's the GDP? GDP, where are you? GDP. The GDP should be here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. It should start going up. Alrighty. Next turn. We are half a year again. Yeah, so... Uh, we have to kind of focus... So we're kind of focusing on... People smuggling. A large number of people have been caught entering our country. In inside hidden and card and containers in an organized attempt at people smuggling. That's actually a big problem in Europe. A bunch of these people are get trying to cross the Mediterranean to get into Europe. But, um... It's a bit of a hassle because, uh... They have to handle on, um... They have to be... Have to be ha they have to handle on, um... Uh, uh... They have to get a handle on... What the fuck? Why am I stammering? Um, they have to, uh, get a handle on, god, yeah, on, uh, on organized people smuggling. Okay, what the fuck am I talking about? I, I, what I'm saying is that they need to hire human traffickers to traffic them up to Europe, and then they try to see which country's better for them. But no, we are not letting people in, we are deporting them. Obviously. Um, what's next? So here's one thing that pisses off the religious, is basically legalized prostitution. Now, we are a moral society, we are an ordered society, and this is an outright... But this does increase the GDP, though. Fucking, I sound like a goddamn fucking capitalist pig. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, uh... This does increase the GDP. How the fuck does this increase the GDP? There's not... This, it, fucking prostitution doesn't boost the economy that much. But anyway, this this takes too much of a hit, and we are conservatives. We shall scrap it. Okay. Prostitution is gone. Be gone. Now, there's a few ways we also have to combat the liberal membership, which is the membership. It's going up high. There's a few things because of this, which basically is we're gonna get rid of this, and now we're gonna get rid of this eventually, soon, very soon, actually. And this, but however, this is a very good. Actually, let's increase this. Now, I know this increases liberal liberalism membership. However, this inc this decreases alcohol abuse as well. So it's a good thing. It's, it's free too. So we'll do that. Okay. We we because we need to crack down on alcohol abuse like right now. Because this kills us as shit. Also, also another thing we need to do. Oh wait wait wait. Oh, doctor strike. What? Yeah, we'll inc okay. So next time we'll. This is like at the moment where like we ha we spend so much, 
but the doctor strike doesn't go away. Like, for example, if we went like this. Yeah, we need to get rid of this doctor strike because this kills the parents and the health. And the, we need the parents on our side. So, yeah. Uh, that, that got rid of that. So that's good. Yeah, so we might... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Um, wait, is there something else we can do? Public service, yeah. There's a few things. We also need to combat this obese crisis, too. Fuck this obese crisis. Okay. So, oh, is there anything we... Nah, we only have two. Yeah, fuck it. We spent everything on abolishing prostitution. Which is good, because we don't need the damn prostitute thoughts on our streets. You can't have any thoughts on our streets, I will tell you that much, dude. Well, shit. Fuck. And our GDP. Ah, oh, god damn it. Our deficit's highing up. Okay. Okay. For okay. First of all, we are. We are destroying this doc Doctor Strike. Alrighty. And then we are also increasing the alcohol. Oh, fuck, we can't even do anything with the alcohol. Though. Never mind. Uh, what shall we do? What shall we do? There's a few things we can try to do. We're gonna combat directly. We're gonna basically say, hey, look, the government's gonna help you. So basically, we just got, we got, na we have national health care for all German citizens. That should got, get rid of that. Now, what we're gonna do, health food subsidies. Essentially, this is, uh, we give people, we basically, the government pushes through subsidies and other means, helping out the poor, or just, just to get people on a healthy diet. So less sugary foods. And that's a great way. Let's do it. Hey, see, this just, just this destroys obesity. And I should destroy our obesity. Because we don't want, we want to be a nation of fat people. We want to be a nation of strong, well, you know, German athleticism. We need strong. Where's the ethnic minorities? The membership is absolutely destroyed. They were 10% earlier. We deported half the ethnic minority population in like a few months. <laughs> where's the where's the patriot population? Let's see. It's in, it hasn't increased. Okay, well, what's the thing that increases the patriot population? What are some things that do that? I think the space program does, but yeah, here's something we could do. Uh, we're gonna implement a food stamp program for those who can't eat. This should help out on the poverty front. This helps farmers, this helps the poor. Obviously, this also helps a little bit on the socialists, make sure they don't piss us off. And... Fuck. Oh, god damn it. Well, shit. Alrighty, so next time, what are we gonna do? So our first year's done. What are we gonna do? What are, are we gonna do? Well, uh, next time, uh, we kinda wanna focus more on uh, kinda beating these things up. We don't know exactly what... Uh, we need to first of all balance this deficit because this debt is getting out of control. Yeah. Yeah, our expenditure is going up, and our what about income? The income's going down for some reason. The fuck. Okay. Yeah. So we need we need to increase our taxes just a little bit, and uh, we also need to. <laughs> I go straight. straight. Unironically, we should uh, be confiscating the boomers' uh, retirement savings. I'm kidding. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so next time we shall raise taxes to try to cut down on the deficit. We shall also try to grow our economy and continue our, uh, growing the Patriot population and, uh, kind of basically, um, cracking down on other things, like kind of like getting rid of the prostitution thing. So, see you guys next time. Oh, uh, actually, that's not, no, that's not, not, that's not my sign off. Aim high, wander on, from America, with Russian love. <laughs>